Hey, welcome back everybody. All right, we're getting ready to do our gear swing test today. We're gonna to be uh, swinging the gear up and down a couple of times, but before we do that, uh, we got a couple of panels that we gotta push back up into place and bolt down uh, just so they don't interfere with the gear doors or anything like that. So that's what we got going on right now. Let's go check this out. What do we got going on here, fellas? Well, we're trying to get, oh yeah, we gotta go outboard a little bit. There, now try it. Try to get the door 82 Sorry. back up. Okay. That's the one that goes here? This. This entire big panel. This, this big panel. This oh, door okay. that's hanging down is part of it. Gotcha.
service the utility. Do we need to give it some more? Yeah, it, 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 when you use a mule, it sucks it out. Oh, okay, so. We have to put it back. All right. All right, time to go put the toys away. All right, so that was an outstanding success. The gear transited perfectly fine every single time that uh, bonked through the, uh, through the handle. Uh, you guys got to see it go up and down. You could even hear the, uh, the restrictors in the main gear doing that screaming noise whenever they would go down so they, so they don't slam down. And uh, well, let's, let's get some, uh, Here's the lucky guy that got to sit up in the cockpit and throw the handle. So what was it like hitting that handle? Uh, it was pretty much just hit the handle and hold on for dear life. Cause whenever that thing uh, puts the gear up or down, you really feel it rocking. <laughs> and same thing with the tail hook? Same thing with the tail hook, except it goes more front and back. So you can ride like a cowboy. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time and we are a major step forward in putting this bad boy back in the air thanks again